one of the main reasons for the component values that we see inside of data classes, such as component one, component two, component three, is for destructuring. So component one references the first name, which is the first parameter as defined inside of the data class. Component two will be the second parameter here, and component three will be the third one here. This is used for destructuring. So we can say val, and we can say first name, and then we can say last name, and we can say age. And then we can say equals person. So as we've defined the person here on line two, what we're doing here is actually defining these three variables and we're destructuring the person object. And what's happening behind the scenes is Kotlin is using component one, component two, and component three to shove it into these variables here. So now let's print line each one of these to see what they look like. We'll say first name, print line, last name, and we'll say print line, age. And if we run this, what we're going to see here is we see Don Felker 30. So this is great. Now this isn't based upon the name of these variables. So I could actually switch these around. I could say last name, age, first name. Now watch, if I run this, it's not gonna be Don Felker 30 anymore. It's not gonna print these in, in that way. It's gonna print 30 Don Felker. Now the reason is, it's based upon the destructuring. So this is component one. This is actually gonna be the first name. So last name right here, which we print right here, is the second one, that's Don, that's correct. Then we have first name, which was actually using component three's location, component three, so we're gonna see first name, component three's location, which is age, which is why we see 30 printed first here. And the last thing that was printed, I have listed as the name of the age variable, is showing Felker, because that's actually the second component here. So this doesn't matter what these variable names are. So in essence, I could actually just re rename these to component one, component two, which I would have, these don't, these names don't really mean anything. Uh, and I would never do this in production, but this is just an example that it doesn't matter the name of the actual values that you're destructuring into, it'll still print those values. So let's go ahead and move this component one, component two, component three, let's print them in proper order again. So there was a Don Felker 30. So again, I could just call this F name for first name. I could call this L name for last name. It could be, you know, whatever casing, L name. And then we could call, go and this could be person age. And it doesn't matter what, as long as whatever is in this, is in the third component is, this is a third component, it's gonna be shoved into this variable here. And that's how you can destructure a data class into values here just in one quick line. Because if you were to do it the other way, you might have to do something like this. First name equals person dot first name, val last name equals person dot last name. And there's nothing wrong with doing this. It's just you can also use destructuring to your advantage very easily uh, by turning this three lines of code into one line of code and that's destructuring data classes in Kotlin.